Hey everyone, it's Karen with Yes Please Paper Crafts. So today's video is part of a YouTube hop called Let's Get Organized. In this YouTube hop, we are focusing on organizing our paper crafting supplies in our craft rooms. And each month we pick a particular item or area in the craft room to focus on. So this month's focus is enamel dots and bling. And each person that is participating in the YouTube hop is gonna share their organization and storage tips on how they store and organize their enamel dots and bling. So I will have links to everyone's videos that is participating in this YouTube hop in the description below. So if you want to join the hop, just click on the links. And I hope that you will get tons of ideas from watching everyone's videos and how they store and organize their enamel dots and bling. So about two years ago, I posted a video on my YouTube channel where I shared how I organized my enamel dots and bling. And so I'll put a link to that video in the description below if you want to check that out. I did go into quite a bit of detail on my thought process of how I plan to store my enamel dots and bling. And in this video, I'm just going to show y'all how I have it all stored and organized. And I'll also talk a bit about some of the changes that I've made. Okay, so I have a couple of different ways that I organize my enamel dots and I have them stored in several places in my craft room. So this first location is right behind my work table. These are two Alex drawer units and on top of these drawer units, I have a bunch of acrylic bins and drawers and this is right across from my work table. So I'm going to swing around here and just show you guys that right here is my work table. So when I'm working on a project, I can just easily turn around and I'm able to access all of these embellishments that I have stored here. And one of the things that um, I love is to have things stored by color. So I have some color bins for my enamel dots. And so let me go ahead and get closer and I'll show you those drawer units. So each one of these acrylic drawer units has three drawers and I have three of the drawer units, so a total of nine drawers here. And the drawers are really nice size. I'll put the size up on the screen here so that you can get the exact dimensions. And I'll also have links to all of these organization products in the description below. I did pick these drawers up from Amazon, but I've also seen them at Tuesday morning and TJ Maxx and places like that. Okay, and uh, they're a little bit expensive, but I think it's worth it because... It's very easy to see. I don't have to put labels on here. I know exactly what's in all of those drawers and it looks really pretty. And so I just love having all of the different rainbow colors there. So I have a drawer for pink, red, orange, yellow, green, aqua, so teal and uh, aqua. And then here is a blue, light blue and dark blue, purple. And then down here is neutral. So white, black, uh, gray and brown. And then uh, I didn't have the space to add another drawer because I have this shelf here that's right above where I have all of these different bins and acrylic drawers. I have this shelf here, which I have some flowers by color and then also cards that people have sent me. So I have uh, different cards and, and things that different people have sent me and also some cards that I just like that I made that inspire me. And then up here, I added another enamel dot storage drawer. And in that one, I have metallics like silver and gold. And then also by shape, so stars and hearts and things like that. So the second way that I have enamel dots stored in my craft room is by collection. And if I have enamel dots that go to a particular collection, I just store it together with the paper and other embellishments. So these are my scrapbooking collections that are stored in a Calyx unit. And if you'd like to see more about how I organized my collections, the very first hop that we did for the Let's Get Organized hop, which was hop number one, was about scrapbooking collections. And I'll put a link to that video in the description below if you want to check that out. Okay, so I thought I would just show you a couple of my scrapbooking collections so you can get an idea of how I have these enamel dots stored. Uh, but if you want more details, you can go and watch my video that I did where I shared uh, a lot more about how I organized my collections. So this is a collection where I just have some paper and I just have enamel dots. I don't have any other embellishments. And this one, I just uh, tucked the enamel dots in there and this is stored in a record sleeve. This is a, a record sleeve that I picked up from Amazon. And I'll have links to all of these organization products in the description below. 
Okay, this next one is a Fancy Pants collection. And for this one, I have it stored in a Creative Memories Power Project folder. These are really awesome if you have more embellishments, you have more things uh, that would go with your collection. It keeps everything more organized and it's a little bit uh, sturdier and it has more spaces for you to put things, okay? And then the last one I'll share with you here is, this is the um, Totally Tiffany, I can't remember what the name of this one is. I'll put it up there on the screen. <laughs> but here's another one with multiple pockets. There's a middle pocket where you can put your 12 by 12 paper. And then there's more pockets on the back. And so it's really awesome to have uh, these larger types of organization products like the one from Totally Tiffany in this Creative Memories Power Project folder uh, because it just keeps your collections a little bit more organized than just keeping them in a record sleeve or a page protector. And I think this is really good to keep your enamel dots with the collection if you do have a collection because when you're working with that collection, you don't have to go searching for what, uh, you know, enamel dots by color and trying to figure out, you know, which ones go with the with your collection because you already have something that has exactly the same colors as the collection that you're working with. And I think that once I use up a collection, if I have enamel dots left over by a particular manufacturer, I might start just having them grouped together um, in, in a bin or something, say Echo Park, Simple Stories. Because if, if, I, if I use up all the paper from this coffee collection, but I still have enamel dots left over, Echo Park has other collections that use these exact same colors. And so I think it's really a good idea sometimes to store your enamel dots by the manufacturer because that way you know you'll be able to use them with uh, the other collections that coordinate with those colors okay so the third place that i have enamel dots is in a bin now this bin is located in my embellishment cart and i did a video where i shared how i stored my embellishments in a cart i created an embellishment cart that I can roll around my room. And so when I'm working on a project, I can just roll it anywhere to where I'm working. And it just makes it very uh, convenient to be able to uh, go through and look at what I have in that embellishment card. And I'll put a link to that video in the description below as well. What I have in my embellishment card as far as enamel dots, I have all of my G Gina Marie Designs enamel dots, which are absolutely gorgeous. I love her enamel dots. And she has so many different ones to choose from. There's ones that have uh, sparkle and glitter. There's ones that are just shiny. And then there's other ones that have kind of like a translucent quality to them. There's also some that look like velvet. And I'll put a link to Gina Marie Designs shop in the description below if you want to order some of her dots. Uh, she just has a, a really amazing selection really awesome prices. I think her prices are about $2.25 per pack. And yeah, I just, uh, I love that. And I'm keeping that separate because when I create a video and I'm working on a scrapbook layout and I use uh, enamel dots from Gina Marie Design, I want to know that they came from her so that I can recommend her store in that video. So if you don't make YouTube videos, you might not want, you know, need to do that. And you could actually take these and put them by color. But because I want to um, recognize this store in my videos, I'm going to keep storing them, um, you know, this way. <laughs> okay. And then on the other side here, I have some enamel dots from different companies like Freckle Fawn, Basic Gray, just different things like that. And then here are some that I need to actually cut up and put by color. I just uh, hadn't done that yet. And so I have a bunch of uh, enamel dots from just different places that I don't have collections for. And so I just have those stored here. I might actually eventually put these by shape and have all of my hearts together, all of my stars together. Uh, but uh, right now I just have a couple of those here. And then behind this, I have some Cartabella, Echo Park, and Simple Stories enamel dots that I eventually want to put with the collections. I'm still in the process of organizing my collections and kind of going through everything in my craft room and pulling things that I find that I have a collection for. Um, because I think at some point I bought some of this from Tuesday mornings and I might have just bought 
the enamel dots and I didn't have anything else that went with that collection, but later I got the collection. So uh, I'd like to go ahead and just uh, put all of that together so that it's all stored uh, with the collection. And then just in the back here, I have a bunch of photo corners. Okay, so I have my bling stored in this Alex drawer unit in the fifth drawer. And I'll open the drawer up here so you can see inside. And I did organize this drawer in the video that I did previously. And so if you want to see more details on how I organized a drawer, you can go check that video out. Uh, I haven't really changed much about this drawer other than to add in some more things. I, I did uh, buy some of the Pink Fresh gems and crystals. And they started coming in these little packs, which are super cool. So I have those here. And then I also have these uh, crystals from Buttons Glore. And um, so I have those. Those were not there, I think, two years ago. But everything else is pretty much the same. I still have all of my gems stored by color in these little photo cases. And then the other thing that I added here was all of this right here. I uh, have some different things from Spellbinders and just different gems that I picked up from Tuesday mornings a while back. And then over here I have some gems from Honeybee Stamps. I really do use these Honeybee Stamps a lot, so that's why those are on the top. And then what's under here is all of the special gems, the ones that are bigger, uh, flowers, and just different ones like that. Okay, so if y'all want more details on this drawer and how I organize and store my bling, be sure and check out that other video. And then the only other place that I have bling in my craft room is up here. I have some pink fresh crystals up here that I store that are in these cases. They came in these cases and I just kept them in there because uh, they're super cool. <laughs> and so I have those uh, stored there. Okay, so that's all I have on storing and organizing my enamel dots and bling. I do have a short video clip of my two dogs, Bella and Lily Bella, that I'm going to put at the end of this video. So if you want to see that, stick around to the end. And y'all be sure and go check out everyone else's video that is participating in this YouTube hop. So that's all I have. Hope y'all take care. Hope y'all have an awesome weekend. And I hope to see you next time. Bye now. What are you doing, Lily Bell? Hmm? Are you being a good girl? You're wandering around the room making little clicky noises. <laughs> You're distracting me. <laughs> I'm trying to do my video. Hello, Miss Bella. How are you doing today? Do you have anything to say? <laughs> yeah, you had to go to the vet. Mm -hmm. Got your shots? Yeah. And the vet said you had another ear infection. <laughs> I know. She's been getting uh, an oral antibiotic, which we've never done before. We've always had pills. She doesn't like it. It tastes yucky. <laughs> tastes yucky, huh? And then we're putting that yucky drops in her ear. Where'd you go? <laughs> yeah. You got anything else to say? No? They got to go over to the new house the other day. We went to check out the new house. Yeah. Brought my mom over there. And uh, we got to look around and the girls got to go and investigate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you excited about moving? No. <laughs> I think you'll like the new house. No. <laughs> you don't want to move? <laughs> Well, I don't think you have a choice. <laughs> you don't have a choice, sweetie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're so funny. It'll be okay. I'm going to move all your stuff. Yeah. It'll be good. The, the treats will be over there, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In your bed. In your crate. We'll move everything. Yep. We can't move the yard. The yard has to stay here. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> I don't think Mama can move yards. <laughs> but you're going to have a nice yard. It's not going to be as big, but it'll still be nice. Yeah, there's no trees. Yeah, I know. <laughs>
Well, probably no squirrels. Oh, I know. <laughs> it's okay. You know what I saw over there? You know what I saw over there in our yard? A bunny. A bunny. There's a bunny there. <laughs> you want the squirrels? Yeah. Okay. But there was a bunny in the yard, and you can see horses. Yeah. There's horses. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess I need to get back to making my video. <laughs> Okay, you want to tell everybody goodbye? And so long. And have a great weekend. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> okay, well, that's all we have. Y'all take care. Hope y'all have an awesome weekend. And we hope to see you next time. Bye now.